Okay, welcome everybody. Pro Spartan Gamer here with another different vid, I suppose, on my channel. Um, just been doing the Rome vlogs, as you know, and the other thing that I've been doing is setting up a tropical fish tank. I had one years ago, I haven't had one for a while, but um, I've set one up over the last month, I suppose. Had it set up and running while I was away in Rome, and I've come back and stocked it with fish so we have African cichlids in here um, different sorts of varieties we've got mainly trophus I think we've got about five different varieties of trophus um, some bembers some bully points some trophus de boses um, and there's a couple golden trophus there really small ones one of them there if you can see right at the front they're gonna have to grow on Quite a few different varieties of Lake Malawi and Buna cichlids. There's two violet ones there, which are looking very nice. Um, there you see most of the Malawis there in that picture. And we've also got some Juliochromus transcriptus and Raganis in here. We've only got two each of them. There's a um, little one in the corner there. I think that's a Ragani. Yes, it is. And where's the transcriptus? They've got more checkered. That one there, just at the back over the top of that slate, you can see us a transcriptus. Couple really, really small fontosas they're gonna have to bring on. There's one of them there. Little baby, there's two of them in this tank. There's the other one. Colours are starting to come. A lot of the fish only came on Friday and it's Sunday now, so They've obviously got a little bit of development to do. Colours will come out in time. Pretty settled tank though to be fair. It's a 240 litre tank um, with a 2000 litre external filter on it. Um, we've also got these air bubbles going from a couple air stones which is the humming you can hear a little bit and I've got twin strip lights up above um, a daylight one and a night light one I think it's called or something keeping the temperature pretty good at 26.2 degrees at the moment or that's around 80 Fahrenheit and like I say it seems to be so far touch wood a pretty happy tank we've got to do some a bit of tidying up with the leads and that at the back and those air leads there I've got to do some tidying with that at the moment we aquascaped it a while ago um, sourced most of the stuff from local beaches and boiled them to get any things out of them done the vinegar test on them so they were all fine a couple little bits and pieces from local garden centers like the slate but i may well bring this left side up a little bit higher here got to decide yet what i'm gonna do but um yeah coral sand on the bottom got that off ebay um, I think it's 5 mil coral sand to try and keep the pH nice and hard for these fish because they like the pH hard. And yeah, enjoying getting back into the tropical fish. These little fat buggers, you could feed them all day long, but obviously you've got to watch overfeeding with them because they will eat all day long and we don't want any bloat. But I shall bring some daily, well not some daily, daily, what you on about? I shall bring regular updates on how the fish are doing and when they start to colour up a little bit more perhaps I'll show you some more videos but that's that is my fish tank that I've been working on back in my homestead there he is there they are I think there's 31 in here altogether you can't see the, there's a couple ancestrous plex in here but you can't see them at the moment one's an albino and the other one's just behind the heater there you can just see his top fin or side fins and there is also a couple really small Cynodontus catfish in there as well, but again, difficult to see in amongst the rocks. Yeah, hope you enjoy it anyway, and I'll just leave you to have a look at the fish tank there for the last uh, 10 seconds or so, just so you can see what's going on.